I don't even like wine. But guess what? You're going to like it. I need some cheese. What's up, guys? It's Barnabas, a.k.a. Mac and Cheese, bringing you a game of Search and Destroy on Fallen. Um, now, right off the bat, these this is the basic overview. This is the kind of uh, stuff that you want to have just memorized in your head as you go into um, you know certain games and game types like this. Um, these are the hot routes that the opposing team is going to have right off of the spawn. And so I, I know that these, well, I know now, but I didn't necessarily know this at the beginning of the game. But now I know that, okay, these are the typical hot routes or the, the, the most common routes that people are going to run once they spawn on, you know, their respective sides. So that, that basically just helps you kind of get set up um, once you start playing the game. You know, right here you'll see right off the bat I, I rush over to this side. I, and I never played Search and Destroy on this, uh, on, this, um, on this map. So I learned quite a few things. Like I learned that people love to go down this, this little alley here. Um, and it's because it's super, super quick. Um, the distance that, you know, the two teams spawn from each other is really, really close. So people love to kind of go that way. And then like one or two guys typically go to A, at least on this map. Um, but uh, the other thing that I kind of wanted to talk about with this commentary is, um, well, partially my class setup, not the one that I'm using here because this is not a very beneficial class setup or one that you would want to use Um in search and destroy I just get really lucky this this game um, and it, and it kind of works for me um, but uh, but the main thing is you want to run a suppressor you want to run a ninja you want to be as quiet as possible um, you know recon is great to help your teammates out and running UAVs ballistic vests are great things to to run for search and destroy but um, yeah I, I wanted to talk, talk about that and then I also want to talk about some things that I changed um, recently with my gameplay and that is Switching to a tactical um, controller scheme. I normally, ever since uh, I've played any of the other Call of Duties, I've always used a normal, regular control setup. Um, and granted, that's helped me a lot of times with like twitch knifing. If, if a guy runs up on me, I get a, a knife kill. But um, I, I've gotten a lot better at drop shotting people, and it's probably saved my life a lot more times than you know a knife twitch would. So I would highly recommend if, you, if you've been like curious about trying out the tactical setup just for like the drop shotting aspect of it, maybe play through the campaign with it. Um, that way you don't get really, really frustrated while you're trying to learn this brand new um, controller setup while you're playing multiplayer because it, it can be really, really confusing uh, for at least the first couple hours that you're, you're playing uh, using that, that setup. And then the other thing is colorblind assist, turning your colors to colorblind assist, because colorblind assist um, makes it a lot easier for you to see your teammates, and it also makes it a lot easier to see when there's stealth bombers coming in, which direction they're coming from, and whether or not they're your team stealth bomber or the opposition's stealth bomber. So uh, try those things out. I, I, I feel like they've helped me out quite a bit, and, uh, and I highly recommend them from here on out. Um, so yeah, uh, I apologize if my uh, my voice sounds a little bit funky, but I swallowed a fish bone at dinner tonight, and my throat is super scratchy, and uh, yeah, it's just really weird. So I apologize for that. Um, like right there, you see, I get a, a nice drop shot on that guy. I probably would have been dead if I was just standing there trying to knife him or do something else. Um, so this this match is almost over. Um, we kind of worked these guys a little bit, and I luckily I had uh, this was the only class that I had uh, a suppressor on, and so I had really high kill streaks. And I was not assuming I was going to get any of them, but I ended up kind of going through a bunch of them, uh, and uh, and it it basically kind of helped me get a, a pretty decent score here, but. Yeah, let me know what you guys want to see next. Like, if you want me to keep doing Search and Destroy matches, I've got a bunch of those because um, I really do enjoy playing that. I also um, have a bunch of demo or DOM stuff. I can do another Analyze My games, my Gameplay where I just kind of sit there and talk about what, why I'm doing what I'm doing or what I'm thinking about while I'm moving around the map. Um, let me know what's more helpful to you guys uh, uh, as you kind of see... Uh, 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 you know, basically just whatever's helpful. I don't, I don't really know what to say about that, but um, I get the Reaper here, and the game's going to be over very, very soon. But, yeah, I'm really curious to, to, to know what you guys 
want or what what you think would be helpful because uh, 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 I, I hope that that you know these videos can be helpful in, in some way shape or form and uh, and yeah I'd love to know what you guys want to see so um, yeah I think that's about it so yeah give those things a try tactical um, colorblind and search and destroy and I will see you guys next time thanks for watching